All right. So let's take a look at some questions here. So for each of these ones, it says determine the oxidizing and reducing agents. Write the appropriate formula for each agent. Begin by clearly indicating the oxidation numbers of all elements. Question one is done as an example. Okay, so hint. Um, what was the hint? Always show the agent as it would appear in the net ionic equation. Yeah. So what they're saying here for the net ionic equation is instead of showing, for example, FeBr3, right, you can get rid of the bromine if it doesn't, if it's not changing oxidation numbers, you can basically get rid of it because it's a spectator. Um, to be honest, if you keep it all together, it's the same thing. Um, the, this whole thing is to practice assigning oxidation numbers, telling you what the OA and what the RA is. Okay, so the first one we can see, carbon is going from 0 to negative 4. Right, zero to negative four, which that means it's being reduced. So because it's being reduced, it is the oxidizing agent. Hydrogen is going from zero to positive one. Right, zero to positive one, it is uh, losing electrons, which means that it is the reducing agent. It is being oxidized. So let's take a look at number two. So strontium is in its elemental state. That's a zero. So this is iron three bromide, right? So bromine is just, it's basically an ionic compound, right? So iron three and bromine negative one. Iron in its elemental state is zero. And here we have strontium bromide, which is in its elemental state. So what they mean by this, by putting this in the um, net ionic would be to write this out with eliminating Eliminating the bromine because it's a spectator. Okay. Um, if you keep it like you did at the in the first step, that's perfectly fine. Uh, unless I specifically ask you to do that. Um, but, but it's beyond the purpose of what we want to do here. Okay, so strontium is going from 0 to plus 2. Right, so 0 to plus 2. That means that it is being oxidized, okay, which means that strontium is the reducing agent, right? It's being oxidized, so it's the agent of the opposite process. Iron is going from plus three to zero, which means it is gaining three electrons. So because this is being reduced, that means it is the oxidizing agent, right? It's being reduced. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's do the next one. Okay, so the next one here, we have carbon monoxide. So oxygen is negative two. Carbon has to be positive two because it adds up to zero. Oxygen is negative two. Um, so that's negative 10. So that means each chlorine is plus five for that to add up to zero. Uh, here we have negative 2 for the oxygen, and then this has to be plus 4 to add up to 0, and chlorine is in its elemental state, right? Okay, so uh, carbon, actually let's do chlorine first. Chlorine is going from positive 5 to 0, which means it is gaining electrons, so it's being reduced, which means it is the oxidizing agent, right? Carbon is going from positive 2 to positive 4, which means it is losing electrons. It is being oxidized, which means it is a reducing agent. Okay, so technically, if we want to be technical, right, the reducing agent would have to be the entire thing, right? Because it's not one ion, it's in a molecule, right? Oxidizing agent it would be um, Cl2O5. Okay, so if you're looking at the answer key and it's seeing the whole thing that it's in, uh, that makes sense. Okay, number four, we have hydrogen, which is positive one. So that's plus three. Phosphorus has to be negative three. And then this, actually both of these are zero. So phosphorus in its elemental form is P4. 
hydrogen is H2. So hydrogen is going from plus 1 to 0, uh, which means that this is being uh, is gaining, so it means this is being reduced, which means it is the oxidizing agent. And phosphorus is going from negative 3 to 0, which means it's losing, that's oxidation, and it is the reducing agent. So in this case, what you would have noticed is, uh, especially if you have only one reactant, the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent are both the same thing, right? So you can have something that is oxidizing and reducing, right? Um, obviously, different elements are doing different things. You can sometimes have the same element do different things, but we'll look at that in the next lesson in this chapter. For now, let's just get comfortable with uh, step one. <laughs> okay, so here we have barium in its elemental form, right? Water, we've seen a bunch now, so negative two for oxygen. Oof, that did not look nice negative two for oxygen and plus one for hydrogen uh hydrogen elemental form so barium hydroxide right barium is just the regular ion hydroxide is a polyatomic right it has to add up to negative one but if you assign the normal values it will be negative one so hydrogen is plus one oxygen is negative two so here barium is going from zero to plus two so it is oxidizing so barium is the reducing agent, right? And then uh, hydrogen is going from plus one to zero. So hydrogen is being reduced, which means it is the oxidizing agent. So you would actually say the whole thing is that water is an oxidizing agent. Even though it's just the hydrogen component, that doesn't matter, right? If it's a molecule, you say the whole thing. Okay, so this whole first section, this introduction, is getting used to assigning oxidation numbers, assigning reducing oxidizing agents, and obviously um, identifying what is reducing, what is oxidizing. Okay, thanks.